me shocker i am all for this i love the idea of having a partner and then dating other people okay but you know welcome back to the chatterbox toronto and <laughs> i got my pretty friend here becca and she's gonna spill some real juice for you guys. We have juicy questions today that's probably gonna teach you guys something new, okay? So we're gonna get right into the questions. I have the first one. The first question is, should we do your question first or mine? Okay. Because yours kind of leads into, okay, so okay. we're gonna do her question first. Okay, the first question, what do you think about open relationships? Hmm. What do you think, Ashante? Well, um, I think that like if it works for you, it works for you and that's good. But for me personally, I could never be in an open relationship because I'm too jealous, territorial, and I just want my person for me, you know? So I could never do an open relationship, but I understand a lot of the reasons why a lot of people do it. And yeah, what do you think? So let's define open relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think what that means is that you're a couple, right? And then I think you're open to date other people, right? But you still have that couple thing. Right. And for me, shocker, I am all for this. I love the idea of having a partner and then dating other people. Okay, but you know, there are those relationships where, like, uh, for instance, I've heard in some celebrity relationships that the man can be like it's an open relationship but the woman is not open like she's not allowed to be open right but the man is allowed to go out and be with other people but she's like the main girl or something like that she co he comes home to her right he comes home to her but he, she allows him to do whatever he wants but she's not allowed to do the same so is that still an open relationship would you could define that as that i mean it's definitely an an equal open relationship but the fact so the difference between open relationship and cheating is that um, when you're Your cheating partner. everything is hidden everything right. is a secret right open relationship is same thing but the other person knows so right. that's what makes it makes it open so yes it is still an open relationship but it's totally unfair to the girl yeah well some girls think it's fine they're okay with it however i'm just like how can you really be okay with your partner doing something but you just any, like you you can't do anything well some no. people by nature they are monogamous that they can only be with one, one person, person right and, and like if it so happens that your soulmate or your partner is not and you're accepting of that so it's a matter of okay for you yeah because what i want to know is for the people that are in these relationships like yourself how do you take the feelings out? Like, how do you, how do you remove those feelings of jealousy and just like, you know, like, you know, like obviously you need to be secure in yourself, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't how? know, like how? <laughs> Great question. So I knew that I was polyamorous. Like I knew that from the beginning, once I heard the term, right? Meaning multiple loves. And that was my biggest, definitely struggle. Like how, could I stop being jealous? When I'm a very jealous person, I was right. a very jealous person. We're both person. Pisces, by the way. Pisces! Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely jealous, and I want, I like it when I'm worshipped, and right. only me. And exactly. even when I think that, oh, is he giving the same treatment to this other right. girl? No, I get upset, I'm like, just me. But you know, when you shift your thinking of what love is, and what that means, and mm -hmm. what that constitutes, what I have learned is that love doesn't run out, is not a finite source. Meaning, because I love you, mm -hmm. if I love another person, my love for you doesn't diminish. I still love you the same. It's just that I have a different kind of love for the other person. But is it a thing where, I understand completely where you're coming from. Because, you know, they say that, okay, man, when a man cheats on you, usually it's, not a, it's just a physical thing, but he's emotionally attached to you. So I completely understand the whole thought of it, but it's like, do you have to remind yourself all the time of that? Do you have to always say to yourself, it's okay, like like this night he's going out with that chick and you're the one home tonight and you know he's with her. Like, do you have to keep replaying in your mind, it's okay, like I got this, like he's mine, like you know? like For sure. So this is my first poly relationship okay, ever. Okay. So that's new for me. Interesting. And um, he's okay, we're okay, we're seeing other people, but we're really connected. Um, and he actually has a date on Monday which is two days from now and I'm okay with that like I'm open but some part of my head is just like 
why is he actively looking though? Because all the guys <laughs> that um, at, they approach me, I don't actively look for right. all these other people right. I hook up with, but he's actually actively right. looking. So I'm thinking, is there something missing because from me? What I think, but what I, uh, it always makes me feel like, it always makes me feel like, like, okay, first of all, what I have to ask is, are there rules? Do you guys have rules in your relationship when it comes to this? Like, for him actively looking, is that something you guys even discuss? Right? Like, you know? Yeah. Because you're just like, why is he actively exactly. looking? Exactly. This is not something we talked about. Well, we kind of did touch on it because the thing with being in this relationship, communication is number one. Of course. Absolutely. Honest and open communication. Without that, there's no trust. Right. It can even work in a monogamous relationship if you don't have that. What more so an open relationship you have other relationships with other people right right so we did touch on this I'm like I don't want to be that kind of couple that looks for others constantly I don't want us to be actively looking that if it happens it happens and he kind of agreed with that he agreed but they were talking before we actually started like oh, okay. be like becoming like a couple and stuff like that and so I'm like okay that's fine so I don't feel as bad anymore but it is still there but at the end of the day I have to keep reminding myself that my partner has needs and sometimes I can't fulfill all of those needs or maybe he has a kink that I'm not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to limit him from exploring that side of him. So it becomes like my love for him becomes so strong that I really would want to be happy for him even though some part of me is kind of like feeling right. a little insecure but the key thing is my partner always reassures me back right like if you're open about your jealousy even that right you yeah. have to talk about it like some in some polyamorous uh, communities jealousy is a bad thing but it's a natural thing that yeah, happens it's a feeling you can't help right so what happens is we talk about it i tell him that hey i'm feeling this way i'm kind of like a little insecure about this then that will give myself a chance to comfort myself from that emotion and that will give my partner a chance to comfort me from that emotion. okay my other question with this whole polyamorous lifestyle is what if now that girl gets pregnant so you guys are now becoming you're gonna build a family right together right so are you gonna be there for this girl when she's pregnant are you gonna be in the hospital are you gonna be a part of this child's life like are you guys gonna look to get a place together in one big home like at, eventually like what happens like what's the end result for this really interesting question and yeah. there's a big answer coming up okay so me and my partner are hundred percent compatible except for one thing okay I want kids he doesn't and he doesn't mm. and literally we're perfect everywhere else mm. okay right. and I had to think about this that I'm like you know are we wasting our time here because I want a partner to have a baby with and mm -hmm. he doesn't mm -hmm. But in my ideal polyamorous relationship, and this is going to sound really out there, is to live in the polycule. Okay. So me and my partner, we mm -hmm. live together. I can imagine a house with like five rooms with a different couple maybe in another room, a different individual in another room, and we all live together. So families. It like becomes like one big we're family. We're one big family, exactly. So you could have another man and get pregnant with that other man and have your family with him, but you're still the family with... We all the original guy together. and okay so and then you kind of build from there so is it is there a level like is there four of you is it a three relationship is there a, what do you want like just personally personally so yeah. that's so here's where rules come like okay. because you kind of make it up as you go because mm -hmm. there's no subscribe way of living a polyamorous life it's right. different for everybody like for example open relationship is two people open up but polyamorous relationships can totally be relationship anarchy. Right. Like you can date whoever you want. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. So it depends on the kind of life that you want to build. For me personally, I can see maybe five, six people building a polycule, a polyamorous family. And that, for example, we have a kid and we raise the kid together. They become the cool aunts and uncles and me and the father will be the parents. For example, I want to travel travel with my other partner. We can go travel, live there for a year, and the kid can have a choice whether she would live with us overseas or she would stay with the Polly family in Toronto. So it's just a, it's just creating your own big family, pretty much at the end of the day, right? Yes, some of it, but again, every 
polyamorous relationship is different. Totally different. There are married couples that they only date other married couples. Like, right. it's a thing. Okay, well, so, yeah. I mean, you guys, this this conversation is probably the deepest conversation we've had yet on our um, this season. Um, and, you know, I'm sure you guys have loads of questions. I will be bringing Becca back. Um, I'm going to also link her information here below because... I know you guys are gonna to want to see her and she she has her own stuff that she's also doing on the side social media wise you can check out um, but please link your questions below because I'm gonna bring her back to discuss the same type of topic because this video could go on and on and on but I'm sure you guys got things to do so we're gonna end this video here I want to thank you so much for coming on and sharing thank you for us. having such personal information we really appreciate it and we definitely want you back you guys comment make below make sure that you like subscribe share everything this video we are going to end it here but we will definitely be back with another part to this type of topic okay so um thanks so much for watching today thanks guys. for watching have Bye. a great day